Hello everyone, welcome to Geometry Nodes in 3.0. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make this scaly transition effect. So to start out, let's make a nice new scene and add in an icosphere right here and a plane. To set up this plane correctly, this will be our scale. Make sure it is pointing in the positive y direction and scale this part down a bit. Let's add in a subdivision surface modifier to make sure it looks more like a scale. That seems pretty good. Next, what we are going to do is add two materials. One will be for the top of the scale and the other will be for the bottom. Let's set the top to red. Make sure the viewport display is the same. And let's make the second one blue and also make sure that the viewport is the same. Let's go and copy the original scale, bring it down just a little bit, and assign the blue material to that. There we go, that seems pretty good. Top is red, bottom is blue. Now let's go over to our icosphere. Let's make it a little bit smoother with the subdivision surface modifier. And now let's go in and add, our, add in our geonodes. Add in a geometry node, and let's make some points. Use distribute points on faces, put that right there. And now let's use the instance on points modifier to add in our scales. Let's drag and drop our scale material right here, plug it into the instance output, and as we can see, it is instancing. But the scale is wrong and the rotation is wrong. So let's turn the scale down a bit so that we can see what's going on. And let's add the rotation output of the points on faces node into the input of the instance on points node. As we can see, it is working. Also, here's a little tip. If you wanna see the original object, use a join geometry node, geometry join geometry, and add the original geometry to there. As we can see, the original geometry is now present. Let's increase the number of scales just to hide it a little bit make it look a lot more scaly. And now let's add in the rotation manipulation nodes. So go into utilities and use the rotate Euler node. Let's put that right here. Make sure you set this to local. Now if we move the X axis, we can see that these are actually turning the way we want them to. So let's change this using a gradient from an empty. First, let's add in an empty right here bring it over here, and now we can drag and drop this into our geometry node area. Let's use the position node. This will give us the position of the scales right here, and add in a vector math distance node. What this will do is give us a gradient from the empty to the scales. I will show you what that does in a second. Let's add in a vector combine XYZ node. There we go, and hook the value into that. As we can see, when we move this empty, things are happening. Kind of weird because we haven't added in a uh, map range node. So if we go into utilities and use the map range node, as we can see, we have limited the amount that this can turn. So let's, uh, let's set up the settings correctly. Let's set the maximum radius to four and the minimum radius to two. So as we can see, it's still limited, not quite what we want. What we need to do is set the maximum to pi. Just type in pi. And the reason for this is because this is dealing in radians rather than degrees. It's mathematical. I, it would take a little too long to explain. But if we go and test it again, as we can see, let me zoom in, it is working pretty much perfectly. And with this, you can now edit the overall fall off of this, switch it around, all that good stuff. And yeah, that is basically the tutorial. If you want to edit the scale right here, add in some variation, use a random value node. Let's put that right in there. And set the max to something like 0.2, like we had earlier, and set the minimum to like 0.1. Now we could see we get more variation. Okay, that is basically the tutorial. I'll give you an overview of the nodes right here. If you want to support my channel, uh, subscribe look at my Twitter, my Gumroad, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.